Hi everybody and welcome to Red Ribbon Reptiles. I'm Rav. This is Bartaby and you'll meet my girlfriend Rachel later on in the video. And boy do we have a cool one for you today. Um, we're actually getting our first ever animal shipment in through FedEx and uh, can't wait to unbox them, show you guys what we have. It's a really cool animal, really cool genetics. Uh, comment down below if you think you know what it is, take a guess. Um, yep, and enjoy. in this animal here and I cannot wait to see what they look like in person Shout out to world, world, world of reptile propagation, baby. All right. Get into that later. The newspaper. The best part. <laughs> and here we have our sack of noodle. All right. Oh, he feels cold. It's okay. Yeah, let's get him out of here. He also might have pooped. A little stinky. It's okay. Business costs. Business costs. It's all worth it. <laughs> this is our first time ever uh, getting an animal shipped to us. So very exciting. My snake bag technique <laughs> is on point. Oh, it smells. <laughs> it smells so bad. It's okay, buddy. We'll open the window at you. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <gasps> this snake. He is Gorgeous. This snake is so beautiful. Okay, this is what we're gonna do here. Try to give him as much room as possible. He did poop, I think. Mm -hmm. Confirmed. Definite poop. <laughs> His eyes might even be prettier than Billy's. Oh, he's super cold. So he's probably warming up on my hand right now. Oh my goodness. Yep, ball python, as you can see. Um, here, I'm gonna try to bring his eyes a little closer to the camera. Look at that. Wow. Gorgeous. 
So he is a, what was it? Bana he has banana, pinstripe, lesser, and black pastel. And those are his genetics. Hi, Trips. So cool. Hello. It's real cool. Yeah, we'll probably get him back up to room temperature out here before we put him um, in his enclosure. He looks a little stressed out. So we'll try to get him in there as soon as possible. We just don't want to get him too hot off the rip. Uh, yeah, better than Christmas. I love it. <laughs> We're setting up ball python enclosure. Uh, it's a quarantine tub. So that's why it's nothing fancy. Start with our heat mat. Never use a heat mat without a thermostat. Um, these things can malfunction all the time, overheat your animal, and yeah, it's not a great time. So you can put the probe, probe, Some people will put the probe in between the heat mat and the enclosure, but then um, when you're setting the temperature on your thermostat, you just want to make sure you're, um, you're compensating for the plastic. So the best way to know what the basking spot temperature is exactly is with a heat gun. And then continue with the setup for now. I'm going with paper towel. Uh, it's sanitary, it's not ideal, but it's pretty clean. Um, you can see things like mites on it just in case. Uh, I don't really expect anything like that, but um, it'll just make it easier to see than if it, they were on some kind of coconut core bedding or something like that. The other thing about paper towel is it doesn't stay, um, doesn't hold humidity super well without staying super wet and um, keeping your snake on a wet surface can cause things like scale rod over time or whatever, so we're gonna use a uh, moist hide, uh, one of the three hides. Ideally, you want three hides for a ball python so they feel secure. Um, this one's gonna hold moisture, it's gonna have some damp wet paper towel in it, or some damp paper towel in it. Damp and wet, wet and damp. <laughs> Back in there, we're gonna put it towards the warm end so it doesn't get too cold. Um, too high of humidity plus too cold of temperatures can cause things like a respiratory infection, like that. So, we're gonna keep the moist side on the warm side. Now, we have these two super fancy reptile hides that are actually just like mushroom containers for your produce. I got that idea from Snake Discovery, shout out. Um, yeah, it's a really good idea, real cheap, and it does the job. Just when you're cutting holes, make sure you um, make sure you don't leave any super sharp, sharp edges or anything like that, that can harm your snake. So one of these are gonna also go on the warm end in case he wants to be dry and warm. And the other one's gonna go here on the cool end. So he can feel secure and thermal regulate at the same time. A water bowl, of course. Can't forget water. That, and it's big enough for him to go in there and soak if he would like. Mm -hmm. And then we got fake plants uh, just to help them feel more secure. I'll take them apart. Can't. Well, maybe they won't come all the way apart. Well, I might cut it, but I'm gonna sit it in there. We're gonna see how it goes. And uh, when I have this all set up, I'll show you guys and yeah and there you have it um didn't go into a whole bunch of detail this was not a care guide at all i am not experienced enough to try to tell you guys that i can give you a good care guide but this is a setup that we're going with for our ball python coming in the mail today should have plenty of plant cover there if he wants to uh, go across the enclosure without feeling like he's out in the open too much. So I hope he likes it, and we'll let you guys know.
This is home now, buddy. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll probably close this up. Maybe get out of the room here. So when he's comfortable enough to go find somewhere to hide, he can. All right. Wow, what a cool snake. Um, he's warming up and settling down in his quarantine tub. A uh, huge shout out to Ward's World of Reptile Propagation uh, for our little buddy there. Uh, Bartaby is not having it right now. She'll sit here. So, um, yeah, if you made it this far, guys, can't express how much gratitude I have for you uh, watching this, bearing with me, learning the process. Um, you know, if you liked it and you want to see more, you think we'll do better in the future, uh, like and comment down below. Subscribe, please. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, we hope to bring you guys some good content for the future. So.